Hey guys, John back. Hey, I want to go over a little issue that I had with my treadmill. Um, it's a Nordic Track commercial 2950 treadmill. It's got the huge screen. Um, it's actually my wife's. But um, uh, but first I want to give credit to a guy named Nelson Munoz. He uh, has his own YouTube channel. He's got really good content. You should go over there and check him out. He was uh, basically how I got things back. Um, what I'm talking about is I came in the other day and I saw the screen doing some kind of update. Um, I don't know if it did it on its own or we had a power hit or something, but it was after I booted it back up. Um, it was doing an update and... After it was done updating, I was like, okay, because I usually keep mine running in um, privilege mode because it is an Android. If you get it in privilege mode, then you can add some apps. Um, but let me, all I did is I came up, I went ahead to manual because I don't use a stupid iFit. Uh, the screen completely changed. Hit manual. I was like, okay, hit this thing here to get around I fit to regular manual mode. You still get options. You still get some selections. And uh, I went, I went up into settings and took a, went ahead and took a look at my maintenance and see what was going on. And it said at the top, everything's up to date. So I said, okay, well, let me get it back into, because I tried to sweep up from the bottom and I noticed I don't have my menu. So I said, let me go ahead and get my menu back and get back into privilege mode. So if you don't know, all you do is tap the screen 10 times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Count to seven, four, five, six, seven. Hit it 10 again. And this popped up. Usually, I would have a little menu at the bottom that says, you're in privilege mode. Well, I was pretty pissed. I mean, I called iFit. I called Nordic Track. I was pretty pissed that now iFit thinks they have the right to hijack my treadmill to where I have to call them to get a code to get in privilege mode. And their argument every time I called them was, well, you know, going into privilege mode could damage the treadmill and void your warranty. My treadmill's past its warranty. I should not have to call anybody to get into privilege mode. So, after beating up the machine to try to figure out, I got the phone number. It's right there. I called them. I got a code, and I got in. They let me in. But 15 minutes later, it, it uh, went to sleep, and when I went back, you're back out of privilege mode, and to get back in, you get this code again. And you have to get a code every time. Well, thanks to Nelson, uh, he came up with some ideas, and I'm going to show you what to do. With it, it doesn't matter where it's at, with it in this mode, or uh, wherever it's at, get yourself a safety pin, go to wherever your treadmill has, let me get, uh, I got to get this thing open, I'm doing it with one hand. Wherever your safety, uh, your reset is. Mine is right here. Get this cable out the way. It's right in this slot, but it's all the way to the right. So take a pin, go all the way to the right, and then you'll hear it click. Now you just watch the screen, and you let it reboot three times. So, I thought I got it. Let me change hands. I think I might have missed the button there. Should be right in the top. And then, there it goes. Whoops, nope, missed it. You'll know you got it because... There it goes. You'll get that screen asking if you want to shut down, reboot, or whatever. 
just keep holding it. And when the screen goes blank, it'll come back up again. That's one reboot. Go blank again. There's two reboots. Go blank again. And go three reboots. And then let it go blank again. And then let go of the button. Now, that's how you do a full factory reset. Now, it's going to come up. And it's actually going to go back to its factory settings the way it was when you first got it. And what that means is it's going to wipe out anything that was done to the kernel and go back to the original setting, which I think the original version was, um, I think it goes to 511, uh, or that's the latest version of um, Android. Uh, but it runs under, it has a Ubuntu, Ubuntu base boot, I think is what it has in it, what it's running on. So you let this completely finish. And I'll just speed up the video until it's done. Okay. Now we're back up to its welcome screen. And you'll notice when I go in, I got to get in my Wi-Fi. Select here. Standard. I'm in central time. I don't want, I don't need to register. And if you notice, I don't have that, uh, you know, continue without joining up in the top right hand corner. I have it over here because that's the way it is when you first get it, when it comes from the factory before it's updated. And here we are new version found hit. No, don't want to upgrade. Don't want to update it yet. I forgot. We got to get in privilege mode. So now that I'm, I'm hasn't, haven't been updated, I should be able to, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now purpose mode is true. So I should be able to sweep up, get my menu, go into the desktop, the circle, six dots, and then hit OK. Hit settings, the settings icon. Now, a couple things you want to do if you haven't done this before. Go into security. And if you go down to, uh, where are you? Trusted credential, no. Unknown sources, there it is. Unknown sources. You want to go ahead and turn that on. That'll allow you to install things that are outside of the, Google Play Store, um, iFit automatically has that off. So it should already be off because um, they're using an older version of, of um, Android and you can't even uh, get a lot of things off of the Play Store unless you upgrade Android. So the first thing you wanna do though is go to Screen Lock and set a pin or a password. And then you go up here and set show all notification content. And set it. So you have a pin set now. Then you can back up. Then you can go to, oh, well, back to security. No, no. You want to go ahead and get out. Sweep up. Uh, hit the square to bring up your other screens. And then go ahead into iFit. Then you can hit little man down here, settings, go to maintenance, 
and then hit update available. And let it go ahead and update. It'll reboot a couple times, but that screen lock will prevent it from changing your privilege mode. So I'll show you when it's done. It actually will not allow it to upgrade uh, the iFit that has the portion with the code. Because if you want to actually see that happen, you turn off privilege mode, and then all of a sudden you go into iFit, and it'll say, hey, there's a new version available. So if you're in privilege mode, uh, when you're doing this update, it will update as far as it can, and it will tell you that um, it's up to date. There's no updates available. And then if you turn off privilege mode and you go into here, you'll notice it'll change and say, there's an update available. See, now I got another update available. Go ahead and update that. That one goes pretty quick. I think this is this is the iFit admin. But it doesn't it doesn't up, doesn't upgrade to kernel. Now I should be able to go in here, run, uh, you notice iFit just updated. Now it's booting to iFit. And you'll see you're on the newest iFit version. <clears throat> we'll go in, because you'll notice up at the top left-hand corner, you'll be able to go to settings up there. You won't have to go in the bottom right-hand corner. So everything uh, will be up to date. I just think it's wrong that iFit gets to hijack you like this. So now you have that use manual mode only. You can hit that. You get that screen like we had before. So it's been updated. There we go. Now I'm, I'm up to date on iFit. I can go up into here. Go to settings. It's hard to do it through the phone. Go to maintenance. Checking for updates. Up to date. Now sweep from the bottom. And I still got privilege mode. So now I can come in here. And I can update and I can add my apps. If you had privilege mode available before that update happened and you didn't have your screen lock set, everything you had on your desktop, if you had a bunch of stuff on your desktop, will be just, you'll go back to this. That's what happened to me. Everything was gone. And these are the only icons that I have left. I don't even look at widgets. And that's all I have for widgets. So it wiped everything out. And then it wouldn't let me get in unless I had a code. But now, by doing this, um, and, you know, doing it this way, you're good to go. You should be able to access your privilege mode without any problems. And go over there and check out that other um, YouTuber, Mr. Munoz. And uh, check out his site. He's got a lot of good content. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have this available. Now, the only thing about this is they complain that if you go into privilege mode, you basically um, void your warranty. That's what they're telling me. I don't, uh, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but you know, it's it's their stuff. You can go back into iFit. And go back into the main screen. And you can still access all the iFit content that's free for, you know, non-members. I joined iFit for like a year or two, and I just thought that it was just a waste of money. I mean, it's, it's so much easier just to get on here and do your own routines. 
I mean, if you like interacting with people, that's cool. But with this, you can put I, um, Netflix, Amazon. You can put all those other apps on here now and enjoy movies, enjoy music, uh, YouTube, whatever you want to do while you're walking or running. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I'm My next task for this is to figure out, because right now, if I go into here, um, actually, if I go into here and I look at my settings and I go to about tablet, it shows me I'm on Android 5.1.1. I mean, Android's far farther than that. And my next idea is to try to reboot. Or not reboot, tried to upgrade Android. And they have a software update, reboot into recovery mode. I might mess with that. But you know, like I said, could void your warranty, so do at your own risk. And um, place any comments below, subscribe, and thanks. Talk to you all later.